Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2023 Kia Carnival, and we're going to do the front grille chrome daily installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the front grille, and this is how it looks after the installation. So for this video, we use the gloss black material, that way we black out the chrome panel, and also the gloss black will match the front section of the grille here. If you like the product, link for the product will be linked below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before we start with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the panel that is going to be worked on. So all you need is water and baby shampoo mixed together in a spray bottle. Once you have your solution, spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and start removing any contaminants that each section of the panel is going to have. And then with this one, we're going to need the hood open in order to install the film that will cover the top section of this panel. So make sure you clean the inside as well. Okay, so we're going to start with this middle piece first. So with this one, just make sure you align it on the top and you have material to cover this whole top section here and on this end as well. So lift it carefully and just place it in order to cover the top section. So just like that. Once you place the film, grab your squeegee and start tagging it down. Work your way on the flat area first. And then with this one, you're slowly going to help it tack down around the curve here. We recommend applying a little bit of heat. That way you help the film lose the tension that it may have on this edge and on this edge here. That way it does increase when we tack it down. Because if we don't apply heat and we leave it like this, if we just squeegee, you may crease it. So it's better to just apply heat to release the tension and then tack it down. So grab your heat gun, apply heat on the curved area just until the film starts to be more flexible to work with. Start tacking it down slowly, make your way until you cover everything and then it should just wrap underneath as well, just like that. So as you can see, no creases on the film. So it's important to apply heat and then tack it down and do the same for this step here. So before we trim off any excess material, we're going to grab our heat gun and apply heat to the entire panel that was worked on. That way we help that heat soap on the film act very faster. And then also we help the film start shaping to the design of the panel that was worked on. So just apply heat everywhere, help it tack down. And then once we're done, we could remove all the excess material. So for trimming the excess material, just take your time trimming it off. There is a small gap right here in between the actual panel and the bumper. So wherever that gap is, enter your blade and carefully trim off the excess material. Remove the film and it should look like this. And you just repeat it for this side. And then for the top section, there is also a gap. But with this one, before you trim, I would recommend lifting the film since it is tacked down to the top section here, lifting everything and then tucking it in with your squeegee. That way when we trim, we're not exposing the chrome here. So lift and tuck inside. So do the same for the whole entire top section and then we could trim off the extra material. So then grab your blade, you only need a little bit, maybe two or three clicks and then just insert and then follow the design of the panel just like that. And then remove it and that's it. And then finish off here, apply heat and you're good to go and start off with this side. Okay, so now we're moving on with this top piece here. So with this one, you could align it right on the edge here. Just make sure if you align it here, you give yourself material to cover a little bit of the top and then just work your way until you end it up here. So just follow the design, just like that. Once you place it, grab your squeegee, tack it down. And then the same steps as how we did it with this one. Lift the film and you could tuck in underneath as much as possible and then everything else will get trimmed off. And don't forget to remove any air bubbles underneath here. And then we're just going to apply heat to seal the edges since we're still going to install one more piece on this side here. Grab your heat gun and start applying heat on the film. Once that's done, trim off the extra material. So one, two, insert and trim. 
and now move on to this piece. So with this one, same thing, align it on the top and make sure you have coverage here and on top here and then just follow the design until you reach it to this end here. Pretty simple, grab your squeegee, start tacking it down and make sure to remove any air that may be underneath the film and then help it tack down underneath. And with this one, lift the film carefully, apply just a little bit of heat to help release the tension on the curve and then carefully just start tacking down, just like that. That way we don't crease the film on the curve and it just stays flat. So when you pass your finger, it should feel flat, no fingers. And then we just trim off the excess material afterwards. With this one, you could tuck in as much as you can, since there is a small gap. But whatever material is still left over, you just insert your blade and carefully follow the gap underneath here and just trim off the excess material. So lift the film and peel off the extra material. Apply heat to finish it off and seal it. Okay, so now we're moving on with this piece. So with this one, place the film on top. That way we have both hands to work on this section. So what you wanna do is align this section of the film to this design on the front grill. So align it right on the edge like this and make sure it covers everything here. So align it right on the edge and it should go right here and then just follow the rest of the design like that and it should cover everything once we have this secured we're slowly going to start placing the film as we go you can use your finger to guide it and just make sure you're following here as well covering the chrome until you reach it to the top end here in order to remove any fingers that you may have encountered as you're placing the film just apply a little bit of heat anywhere where you see those fingers and if you see a deep finger like here lift the film carefully and you can just tack it back down like that. So there's different ways to go in about it, either applying heat or just lifting the film and tacking it down slowly. So grab your squeegee and start tacking down the film. Remember to take your time. You don't want to accidentally crease the film as you're tacking down. And it should look like this, no fingers. And for this section here, you may encounter just a little bit of fingers. Those fingers just apply heat to remove them. So as you can see, this whole section is good to go. And now just finish off on the curve here. So we're still on the same piece. So with this curve here, just apply a little bit of heat to help release the tension. Let the film cool down and just help it tack down around the curve here. So like that, and then finish it off until you reach to the end. Just take your time, apply heat, let the film cool down, and then just tack it down like this. Start from here. That way you avoid having fingers and work your way to the outside here. And if you do have any small ones, lift the film carefully. You don't want to pull the film because if you pull it, you're going to overstretch it and we don't want that. And then just apply a little bit of heat and bring it down. And that should be good. And now we will apply heat on the entire panel that was worked on and then trim off the excess material. So apply heat, that way we help the film start molding to the design of the grill. And once we're done applying heat, we could trim off any excess material that we may have, like for example, on the top, on this top edge as well, and anywhere else on the film. So find the gap, insert the blade, and just trim off the excess material. Remove it. And then continue on with the rest. For this top section here, there is no gap. So you just have to be a little more careful when you're trimming off the excess material here. Don't apply too much pressure on the blade. You only need enough in order to trim off the excess material. Just like that. And now we move on to the next piece. So for this piece here, is this small design here that covers this section. So just make sure when you grab the film, align this side to this section here and just place it and it should wrap around here. You could give yourself a little bit more room to work with, but this should be perfectly fine. You could even bring it a little lower, so roughly around there. Just make sure you're covering the chrome. It's just like this. And if you need to lift it to readjust it on this side, you can. Just do it carefully and place it back down. Grab your squeegee, tack it down. And then apply heat and then trim off the center. Same process as how we did on the top. Just lightly pass your blade to trim off the excess material. And trim off where the headlight is located. And you should be good. 
Now we move on to this piece that covers this section here. So for the last piece that covers this side section of the grill, align it to this edge, place the film and align it to this edge, just like that. Once you have it aligned here, lift the film carefully and just help it align to this top edge here, just like that. And then just follow the rest of the design until you reach it here. So just like that, grab your squeegee, start tacking it down. And then just apply a little bit of heat on this side in order for the film to stay tacked down and it doesn't lift over time. Secure it with your squeegee and you should be good. And now just apply heat all over the panel. And then once we finish applying heat, trim off any excess material we don't need. Okay, take your time trimming off the excess material wherever you have excess. And then once you're done, move on to this top piece. So for this last piece, it covers this section here. So place the film, and you wanna start by aligning it on this section here. So follow the lower section of the path in order to align the film, and you're able to wrap and cover the top section. So once you place it there, grab the film, and just apply it as you go. Take your time, make sure you place it on top, and also a little bit of the bottom here. So lift it and go with the design until you reach it to the other end here. Once the film is in place, grab your squeegee and start tacking everything down. And when it comes to this side, if you have fingers, lift it carefully, place it back down, and then tack it down. You may need to apply a little bit of heat on this curve here, so just apply heat and then squeegee. And now you're covering everything here, and then just finish off with the rest. With this one, you could tuck it in underneath just a little bit and then the rest will be extra material. So just apply heat to help the film start molding to the panel and then we'll trim off afterwards. When it comes to trimming off the extra material here, you only need a little bit in order to cover the edge here. So right where the panel is ending, that's where you enter your blade, follow it until you trim everything when it comes to the extra material. So just like this. And then just follow it through until you reach it to the edge here. And then trim off on the edge as well. And then just do the same for the remaining section here. And don't forget about the top end as well. If you have extra material, trim it off. So once you finish with the whole installation for the front grill, the last thing to do is to post heat the entire panel. So you would just grab your heat gun and apply heat all over the panel that was installed. Make sure you go each section evenly. That way we help the adhesive on the film activate faster. And then once you're done post heating the entire film, you're done with the installation. So just take your time when you're doing this. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the front grill chrome delete installation for the 2023 Kia Carnival. We hope that this video helped you guys out. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell that way you won't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.